Hey guys, Mike Cassette here with Max. It is Friday, April 1st, some beautiful weather outside. I hope you guys get out there to enjoy it. So this week, the reason I'm making this video is I've had the conversation a couple times recently and uh, wanted to share this information with you guys. Now, a lot of people are having very much difficult time, as you probably heard, uh, purchasing properties in Austin. We have very low inventory, as does the rest of the country, but especially Austin, and our prices are flying through the roof. Still getting five, 10, 15 offers on properties uh, in one weekend, which is insane. So, what does it take to purchase these properties? So, the last two properties I closed in this market, uh, both were closed at or under list price and on both deals we're able to get some cash back for repairs so let me let me uh, tell you how we can locate these properties so one thing you're going to want to think about is if you don't have the extra 100k or 50k on top of your down payment on top of your closing costs to compete in these multiple multiple offer bidding wars you figure out what your leverage point is or what is the item of thing that you are willing to deal with in a property that maybe many people are not Things like needs foundation work, needs a new roof, is near a busy road, uh, on campus, near college kids, location aspects, um, physical property damage uh, that you might be able to repair, gut remodels, um, timeline stuff. Are you okay with waiting a couple months for a tenant to move out or giving a lease back to a seller to continue to live there for a few months? Location, property condition, and timing are three things that you know, you might be able to think about and say, hey, this is something I'm okay with. It works for my situation. And then you can find properties that have been on the market for longer than a weekend or two weekends that uh, those properties you can often get at list price or maybe even a little below and negotiate some money off uh, on repair. That is a way to attack the market without feeling let down. Another thing, number two item that um, I've had some success with is opportunity to fundraise so you can now be a vehicle for other people to invest in Austin real estate. So maybe you have uh, your parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, cousins um, that are interested in Austin or interested in diversifying some of their funds out of the stock market or however, and they wanna invest in Austin real estate, but you know, let's save up and buy a whole house themselves on investor rates. But through you, you can provide them with partial ownership or equity in the property via their cash. Uh, so if they've got you know, $50,000 or $25,000 to add to your deal, well, now they can become part of that growth of the Austin market as, they, as the property value grows, the growth of their money uh, grows, and you can pay them back later, you can pay them back when you sell it, however you wanna arrange that with them. But if you've got six people, $10,000 a piece, that's $60,000, right? Now that gets you into that level where if you have 30 and now you've got 60, you've got 90, you can, you can start to compete for some of these hotter properties. Um, so, you know, first I would start with family from that aspect. It's much easier for a loan officer to provide evidence of sourcing of gift loans from family members. If you're going to be using friends money, you're going to want to start that process much earlier. Uh, lenders want to source these funds and find, make sure they're well in place, uh, way before you uh, purchase a property. So, you know, you're going to want to talk to your loan officer about that. Um, but there are ways to do it and they can take advantage of your low interest rate as a homeowner uh, owner occupied, lower insurance rates as owner occupied, homestead exemption, taxable caps on the property value increases from a tax perspective. Um, all of these are lending discounts, they can take advantage of that. That gives them a little bit better return on everyone's money and uh, and they can say to their friends, hey, yeah, I'm investing in Austin real estate right now. Um, you know, I just put some money in a property in, uh, in Austin, make them feel cool or, or uh, feel better that they're diversifying out of crypto or you know, stock market, 401ks, especially if they're older people and they have access to that 401k money they've been saving. These, that's a way I've gotten some clients to add an extra 40 or $50,000 and get them into a house in Austin. So just hope that helps all you buyers out there and realtors. Also, the second thing is I'm gonna dedicate part of my business to multifamily commercial. Uh, so I'm going through a, a fast track um, underwriting uh, training to underwrite these bigger multifamily commercial deals, small apartment complexes, uh, quadruplexes, and, and multiple building properties so that I can help my clients, you guys, and, and my friends diversify and increase their real estate wealth that uh, we've already built together 
and uh, move it into a much faster growing vehicle uh, that can see much better returns at a much quicker pace if it's done the right way. So I'm going to be uh, investing in some of these deals in the near future. So if you're interested, uh, give me a call. I'm happy to chat about it with you. And third, my weekly market update link is here in uh, the best week in the year to put your house on the market is coming up. And there's a report explaining why all the dynamics meet perfectly, supply, demand, competition, viewings, for sellers to put their house on the market in April. Find out more uh, in the market report. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Chat with you soon. Cheers.